welcome you to Foundation of Power Outreach Ministries, a church built on the chief cornerstone. Yes. Amen. Right. I'm on the name of Jesus, yes. Amen. where the gates of hell cannot prevail. I'm Pastor Tony G. Thomas of the Foundation of Power Outreach Ministries, and I greet you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I just want to mention if you'd like to go deeper and further, I've written three books and you can find them on my website, ReverendTonyKThomasBooks.com. And not only these books, these books are about your love life, but the first love life is that with God. But inside each book is a secret. It's, a, it's keys on how to study God's Word. Or just to me, hoping that you fall in love with Jesus. Amen. Amen. Let's go to the Lord in prayer. I hope you've been praying for this service all day. I mean, it's been just a... You have nothing. You have no idea how I feel. I feel better, bigger than a president. Amen. I feel bigger than the ambassador of the United Nations. Yeah. I feel like I'm dressing something that's eternal yeah. before the coming of Jesus. Yeah. I want you to understand, I feel like this is what I was born for. Yeah. This is what God anointed me for and why I'm here. Yeah. I want you to understand something. I want you to know heaven is here. Yeah. Heaven is here. Sometimes you fall in the will of God. Yes. Amen. I want you to understand something. Let's go to the Lord in prayer. Father, we thank you for your will being done on earth as it is in heaven. Lord, I bind every principality, power, forces of distractions. I bind the spirit of trying to cause confusion. And also, Lord, I think everything's going to be smooth. Angels, take them out of here. In the name of Jesus. I thank you for the angels being on the four corners of this place, this very hour, so that the teaching can be clear, plain, without any confusion. But you're not the author of confusion. Where the Spirit of the Lord is, there's liberty. And we thank you for that liberty, God, to teach and to speak the unadulterated Word of God in the name of Jesus. We pray. Amen. Amen. Now I want you to turn with me back to it. Acts chapter 4. Amen? I want you to understand, last night I said some prophetic things. I said the church is entering in a time of testing. Yes. I showed you something last night that many theologians, they, run, they do not get it. The lame man represented the old order of Israel. Yes. But today the lame man represents the church that is no longer empowered and infected in the earth. You must understand what I'm saying. I want you to see it. Oh, God, there he is. Hola, basada, no go see day. No kunda, no bahan. Thank you, Father. Look at Acts chapter 4 and verse number 5. And it came about the next day that their rulers and elders and scribes were gathered together in Jerusalem. Now, I want you to see the last part of that scripture in verse 6. Who were of highly priestly descent. I want you to understand something. These men were born into the priesthood. Y'all yeah. ain't with me yet. That means God didn't choose them. Amen. Y'all ain't with me yet. And now we're living in a time when people are born into the ministry. Yeah. But my Bible tells me many, few, many are called, but few are chosen. In my first sermon that I gave, I gave Jeremiah 23, that many run, but I didn't see him. I said, woe to the shepherds, amen, who lead my people astray. I want you to understand some, that these men in the church today are under descent. Yes. There's very few people that are actually called. Yes. Many are chosen. Are you listening to me? Yes. I'm telling you who the chosen one. I'm talking about, do you see what Peter and John was up against? Yes. See, they can't miss these things. They were, they were, of the priestly order descent. Yes. You see, that order was set up under Moses. Amen? Amen. And it continues, it even continues today. Amen. But the church world has taken on this old order of doing things. How do we get here to where we are today? So divided. Amen? Amen. I mean, so ignorant when it comes to the, the word of God. Amen. I want you to know some of my people are destroyed. From the lack of knowledge. Now I want you to see this because 
Give me a moment. I want you to see that they were standing against those who had the brightest minds when they come to the law. Or listen to me. But we need to see that Peter, filled with the Holy Spirit, said to them, rulers and elders of the people, if we are on trial today for a benefit done to a sick man, as to how this man had been made well, I want you to see, let it be known to all of you and all the people of Israel that I want you to don't miss this people. Yeah. I want you to understand some that we have lost the name. I'm talking about we have lost the ability. We, don't, we have lost the power. Now listen to me. You've got to understand something. Today I'm walking in the Lord's, uh, and the Lord's Spirit began to speak to me. This miracle yeah. is more powerful and important than any miracle Jesus did. Yeah. Don't with me yet. Yeah. Jesus raised Lazarus. Yeah. Jesus met the woman whose son was dead in name. Jesus walked on water. Yes. Because this miracle was done by those Amen. other than Jesus. Yes. You see, something about the law first mentioned, we need to get back to the beginning. When you want to start something, get to the Genesis. Yes. Where it's fear. I, I'm, I'm studying this and I'm saying, Lord, what you want to give the people? What you want to give the church? What you want to give the nation? He said, the beginning. Look what he said. This is the first miracle. We're in a season of miracles, signs and wonders. But listen to me. You got to see miracles. You got to believe miracles. You got to know miracles. Yeah. Listen, y'all know everything else. Amen. You know how many times I've laid hands on myself? Yeah. I didn't wait for somebody else. Amen. You know how many times I said the name of Jesus? You know how many times I rebuked the devil when I mean he sneaks up? I ain't got no power over it. But the name does. I want you to understand that this is more powerful than any miracle that Jesus has ever done. Because he's using untrained and unlearned people like you. Let me show you something with you. What's happened in 2021? Listen to me. They were doing this without Jesus. Yeah. Before Jesus was doing it, and they were saying, How you do that? How did he make that fig tree with her? Amen. They marveled at they were marveling at Jesus. Now the educated religious order of the priestly descent. Yeah. Marveling at They're marveling at them. Yeah. I learned long ago, follow Jesus, you'll be all right. Yeah. I want you to see this, that here's a key that Peter gave us. He said that by the name of Jesus, now let me share something with you. Why do we, why, 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 why do we need anything else? We don't. By the name of Jesus. Yeah. The Nazarene who Israel, by the Crucif whom you crucified, whom God raised from the dead, by this name, and I want to show you how powerful this is, they just broke it off. Amen. There should be no other name other than the Lord God Almighty. Amen. The law. They just broke the law. I told you I am an outlaw for Jesus. Yes. If loving Jesus is a crime, I'm an outlaw. Not only that, they just told them what they did. Amen. See, some of y'all would have lied. You would have said, I don't know how he got healed. <laughs> and that, that mean, they already getting ready to whip you, man. They getting ready to put you in jail. Yeah. Listen, you got to understand something. They were running from Jesus' name. Because yeah. they were afraid they were going to be crucified. Or put in jail, waiting to be crucified. 
So what happened? What transformed these unlearned, uneducated, and fearful people? To even stand before those who crucified Jesus and openly say his name. Amen. Today we can't even put his name in Christmas. We got a, I, somebody sent me a car one to put Xmas. I called him up and said, I'm sending your car back. Because you, you, you ain't sending me no Xmas. You can't say the name of Jesus. There's no Christmas. That's right. I mean, why do you celebrate Christmas without Jesus? Yeah. It's coming up, y'all, but we do it every time. And got his name, don't even see it. We write, we say Merry Christmas, we don't even say Merry Christmas no more. We say Happy Holiday. The name. The name. Because you don't want to be anybody. Let me tell you something. I don't care if you're Islamic. I don't care if you're Buddhist. I don't care if you're Hinduist. I don't care if you're Chinese. I don't care if you're a refugee. I don't care if you are Baptist, Methodist, whatever. There is no other name under heaven whereby people can be saved. I'm not ashamed of that. Amen. I want you to understand something. That's, that these guys got the revelation that the church needs today. Yes. Now I want you to follow me. Go with me and look what he said in Acts chapter 4. In Acts chapter 4, he's on, they're on trial. Let me share something with you. I'm on trial today. Amen. I'm here to prove to you. I'm here to prove to you the power in the name of Jesus. Yes. The name of Jesus is returning. Amen. I believe the Lord is coming. Amen. Or listen to me today. I told you that the church is going through a time of testing. I didn't say the word. Yes. I'm telling you that people are getting saved now. People realize they got to they got to prepare themselves. See, this pandemic really showed how connected people are to the world, even those who go to church. We're satisfied about being a Christian, but we're not satisfied in knowing his name. Amen. Jesus is Lord. Yes, he is. Not your Pope. Yeah. Not your great big elder and pastors. Amen. Amen. Not your bishops, not your cardinals. Amen. Amen. Not your denominational headquarters. Amen. Not your seminaries, whether it's Dallas Theological Seminary or Southeastern Seminary or Princeton Seminary or Duke New York Seminary or Charlotte Seminary or Brown, whatever else. Jesus is Lord. Amen. I'd rather be with an unlearned and untrained but have the name. Amen. Yes, give us the name. Are you listening to me today? Amen. The name has always been here. Yes. It's the word. Yes. God created heaven and earth when he spoke the word. Yes. When these men, when as soon as they got whipped and they got free, they went out and said, to the God of heaven, the creator of heaven and earth. Yes. Yes. See, when you ever have a trial, won't you give God some glory of who he is and what he's done? Amen. That's bigger than your situation. Amen. Watch heaven open up. Now watch this in verse number 10. He says, God raised from the dead by this name. See, again. I want you to see something. This is powerful. You need to, I know you've highlighted, but you need to make reference to this. And those of you that are called in and listening, you need to wake up and put your eyes on verse number 10. Acts chapter 4, verse number 10. It's this name. It's not the name of Buddha. It's yeah. not the name yeah. of Allah. It's yeah. not the name of the Pope. It's not the name yeah. of, of your dog. It's not the name of your cat. It's not your name. Amen. Yeah. Yeah. It's not the name of your mom or your daddy. Amen. This name. Yes. Yeah. These men are on trial. Yes. They already done got a licking. Yes. They didn't seen them burst off in Jesus' guts yes. on the cross. They hid. Yes. They saw the open tomb. Amen? Amen. They seen him appear to them and say, put your hand in my side and then put my hand. Yes. He walked with them for 40 days. Yes. Now, does it take Jesus walking with you for the day for you to believe when it's recorded? Yo. The name. Amen. The name. The name. I want to tell you, when I got the name, yes. I'm telling you, preachers back up from you. Yes. Nobody want to associate with you. Yes. Amen. Amen. 
piano player won't even come. Amen. How much you paying? Hard to listen to me today. Well, I don't know if you can praise. Amen. You might can play, but can you praise? Amen. And look what he said. This by, by this name, this man stands here before you what? In good health. I'm gonna tell you something. The church, and I'm not talking about the true body of Christ. I'm talking about that crippled church. You're going to see this crippled church. Are y'all ready for me? Yes. It's been lame mm -hmm. since his mother's womb. Amen. Let me tell you what it's saying. Everybody starts a church, but it's still lame. Yes. It has no power. It can't change the drug in the streets. Yeah. It can't stop the murders Amen. and the gun drive-by shootings. Yeah. It can't stop our jails from being overflowed. Yeah. Amen. It can't stop corrupt politics. Yeah. It can't stop all these hurricanes and winds and storms. Yeah. It can't stop all the, the, the gun violence. Yeah. It's crippled. Yeah. We march together after folks die. Amen. Why ain't we praying? Yes. And binding the devil in our cities. Amen. Pastor Thomas do. The night's message is not spoken to you. It's spoken to the four corners of the earth. The principalities and powers and rulers of darkness. They're coming down. Yes. Amen. They're coming down. They ain't coming down. Yes. Do the foolishness of preaching. Amen. We're more powerful than the United Nations ambassador. Amen. We're more powerful than the Prime Minister of China. We're more powerful than the President of the United States. Yes. Those are men offices. Yes. But the house of God is not made by the hand of man. Amen. I want to tell you that unless the Lord builds a house, they that labor, labor in vain, God's fingerprint is, and his hands is on the everything Amen. because of Moses and, and, and all the great uh, Abraham, they were looking for the, the city who Amen. architect and builder was God. Yes. The hand of God. Amen. When I, he called me to the ministry. I went to some guys who was ministers and I'm, I'm just Letting them know, my mother said, "Go get somebody to pray with you." And when I went into their room, they were practicing, shouting. But I looked at them because, see, I thought it was going to be a holy dance, Amen. not Christian soul train, Amen. or a line dance. And I interrupt them practicing their their chicken job, mm -hmm. and I said, "Can y'all pray with me?" And they did pray, but they never saw Jesus. Yes. Heaven opened up and the Lord's hand came down and said, Do you accept? They never saw him. Yes. I lifted my hand and I said, Yes. I didn't know what I was going to do when I got home. <laughs> because, see, when you join with D, Jesus, Amen. You, his enemies become your enemies. Amen. The spiritual principalities that don't want you to succeed. Yeah. It ain't flesh and blood. Amen. amen. Because if they would have known, they would never crucify Jesus. Yes. Amen. Or listen to me today. But I want you to understand something. Just because you're in the presence of other folks don't mean that they see and know the name. Amen. And I said I said. Now listen to me. In my weakest moments in ministry, when Satan come in and tell me you ain't doing nothing, you just might have quit. I say, I accept. Amen. I accept. This ain't something. That, see, you can't start and stop. And you know he leaves until more opportune time. Yes, he does. Amen. And I tell him the same thing. I volunteer for this. Amen. I accept it. But I want you to see this name. Now I want you to see verse 12. We can't get out of it. He says, and there is salvation, what? In no, other In no other name. I don't care what you do. People say, well, what about this? What about that? I'm going to tell you something. This is it. There is no other name, for there is no other name under heaven 
that has been given among men. It's, been, it's a gift that they give. Listen to me. Why aren't we using it? It's been given by which you eat must be saved. That word saved there is the same word that Peter did when he healed the man. Amen. It is healing. It is deliverance. It is prosperity. It's peace, shalom. Amen. You can't get peace without the name of Jesus. Amen. Peace ain't in your bottom. Whether it's liquid or pills. Peace ain't on television. Peace is in Jesus. Who's the Prince of Peace. Now I want you to go back with me. Because I want you to see here. In verse number 18. They told him not to speak. Are y'all ready for this? Yes. See, you got to understand, Peter told them how he did it. Amen. Amen. And they said in, in verse number, Acts chapter 4, and verse number 18, he, they said, not to speak or teach yes. at all Amen. in the name of Jesus. Listen to me. The church world don't want to see people heal. Amen. I've seen people, I had to go in and push them in their wheelchair up to get healed. And they go, Demons. Yes. Yes. I want you to understand something. If it wasn't something about this name, the world would never tell you not to say it. Amen. Not Amen. to teach and not to speak it. Amen. So what we under we've got the freedom of speech. That's right. But we can't say the name of Jesus. When the last time? How often have you used the name of Jesus? I mean, the devil's on your back and you get upset and grieve with the devil instead of rebuking him in Jesus' name. I rebuke the devil all the time. Amen. Are you with me right now? Yes. Is COVID a name? Yes. But it's under it's a not higher than Jesus' name. No, it it's got a bow too. Oh, we We're in a world where people live in any kind of way, but they don't know that. He's coming soon. Yes. Now I want you to see this. And when they and but Peter and John answered said to them, whether it is the right in the sight of God to give heed to you rather than to God, you be the judge. I'm going to obey God. Amen. You have to obey God. For we cannot stop speaking what we have seen and heard. Yes. Amen. Now watch this. Turn to Acts. Because they are Mark chapter 16. Mark chapter 16. Save me when you get there. I've been doing this for 40 years, people. Amen. 40 years. In 1982, when I graduated college, God said, go home and fish. I wasn't in Jerusalem on the streets of Galilee. I was walking the streets of Moncure. Yeah. When there was somebody sick, I would go lay hands on them. Yeah. I sit in their house. They had a bad report of cancer and minister to them. Amen. And I watched miracles happen, but they couldn't continue in faith. Amen. I watched families watch me lay hands on their mama with cancer eating up her backbone. But she came to church every Sunday in a wheelchair. Yeah. Her. And that's where I get to saying, if you can eat at home, you can ache in church. And that little lady looks at me like, I'm Jesus. Sometimes it looks like nothing happened, but it ain't about what you see. It's what you heard and believe. Because I got this the same way John and Peter and the other apostles got it. From the mouth of God. Yes. 
Look at me with Mark chapter 16. You may have never seen this. It's written in red, so we know Jesus said it. And he says in verse number 17, he said, These signs would accompany those who believe. Yes. Just because somebody say they're Christian don't mean they believe. Amen. Amen. He says, those who believe. So see, what you believe, you're going to practice. Y'all with me yet? Yes. But we say, but he who dis, let's say, he said, in my name, he didn't say in the name of Buddha. He didn't say the name of your church. Are y'all with me yet? Yes. He didn't say the name of Allah. He didn't say the name of your denomination. Amen. In the name, this is, this is where Peter got it. Amen. Straight from Jesus' mouth. Yes. After his resurrection, Amen. he gave it to us. Jesus is the same yesterday, today, yes. and forever. He still speaks to us today. Yes. The same. He says, in my name. Use his name. Amen. They will cast out devil. Yeah, you can cast the devil out of your child. Amen. Huh? Yes. Why are you going to let your child just grow up and leave and go out wandering in the world? You cast the devil out of yourself. Amen. That's the first person you need to cast the devil out. Amen. He cast the devil out of me. Amen. On my being bad. Yeah. Are you listening to me today? Yeah. And I was such a fool. All I said, I've been a fool. I never looked back. I'm, I don't even have that kind of temptation. Amen. I don't care if they legalize every drug I've ever done, I won't be doing it. You had me once, you'll never have me again. Amen, yeah. Are y'all with me yet? Yeah. Why are you going to play with devils and demons? Because all devils and demons do is bring destruction. Look what it said. In my name they would cast out demons. And look, this is a problem where most folks have. They would speak with their tongue. What's the big deal? Well, is it tongues or is it you speak a different way? You no longer cuss, now you talk proper. Come on! Amen. Yeah. I think Peter got a little bit of both. Amen. And the church. Look what he said. And they will pick up serpents. Now, let me tell you something. There was fiery serpents in the wilderness. Yes. Moses picked it up Amen. and made a bronze pole out of it. Amen. As long as he lifted it up, they won. The snakes did not bother him. Amen. Won't you lift up the name of Jesus and see some snakes rise? Hallelujah. I want to tell you something. There's snakes all around us. Yeah. There's snakes and serpents trying to take a bite out of you. Yeah. Trying to introduce poison in your mind. Amen. Nothing worse than a lie Amen. that the Satan, the serpent, the serpent of old told and still tells today. Amen. Yeah. And you listen to it. Take up service. Yes. Don't let Satan lie to you. Don't let him talk you out of the name. Amen. Look what he said. And that if you drink any deadly thing, you don't know how many times people have drink stuff. Don't you, I'm gonna share this with you. And God deliver. Amen. And it shall not hurt them. See, some of y'all, you. I want you to understand something. That this is not something that you wait till you get a bad report to practice. Amen. You need to call on the money. Yes. The name of Jesus provides for me. Amen. And Louis said, and they will lay hands on the sick. And they will recover. He just said they may be. They will. I want y'all to know something that when I first got saved, and I got a hold of this, I want anything that moved that looked sick, I'm laying hands on. I'm talking to people in my hall and the janitors and one day he came to me and said my cousin died. 
Would you go and lay hands on In the middle of the night, we went and laid hands on them. In such a dark little house. The first person, I was excited. My buddies were excited. We were looking for a miracle. Man died. I didn't know he died. Three days later, four days later, I'm walking on campus and the, jan the janitor was in another building. He saw me. He said, Brother Tony, I want to let you know, thank you for coming and pray for my cousin, but he died. I, just, I was like, how can this be? The word said, they shall recover. I was Dan's Hall, electro engineering, and I walked over. I was walking away from him. I shook his hand. I was about to tear up and cry. And tears came out of my eyes. And then I'm thinking about, it said, they shall recover. Yeah. And I took four steps, three or four steps, and all of a sudden, I saw him in heaven. Amen. There's no sickness in heaven. Amen. In the nick of time, Amen. God sent a servant to yeah. lead him to the Lord on a deathbed. Amen. No greater miracle. That's right. And that tear dried up. I'm 22 Amen. years old. Amen. Yeah. I'm 22 years old, but I didn't die. Amen. God did not let me fall in doubt. Amen. He did not let me wonder if it works or not. It's working when it seems like it's not working. Yeah. He's a miracle worker. Yes, he is. Yes. Amen. 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 All you have to do is obey God. Yes. And so the first three people, they all died. But at Mount View Church, we're in August, doing an August meeting. Me and two of my friends came. God told my friend he had look, he had leukemia Hoskin disease. He was given a report. Yeah. We're at the church. We went down for revival. God said, lay hands on him. So tell him. And my buddy Pete. He came to the altar and Pastor Siler was speaking. And all these preachers was there. And they said, you young men's got zeal without knowledge. Because we were happy. Amen. And so Teller came up for prayer and nobody laid hands on him. I wasn't called in the ministry yet. Amen. I walked up behind Sotelo and I called my buddy Pete. We laid hands on Sotelo. The power of God knocked him back about 10 feet. Amen. And they all looking at us. Praying in tongues. He was supposed to go to the doctor Monday. That was on a Friday night. He went to the doctor Monday. They'd done his pre-op. There was no leukemia in his body. He called me and said, Tony, what do I do? He said, I'm going to do the treatment. I said, do the treatment. He's still living today. He's a pastor. In the disciples of Christ. I want you to understand something. That... I didn't stop because the results were still the same. Amen. There's no sickness in heaven. Yes. You keep on keeping on, and sooner or later, Amen. the miracle is going to show up. Yes. Amen. You see, many of you quit when you look like things not going. Hey, you not God. Amen. He didn't say you. He said the name. The name. Yes. That's right. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Yes. They shall recover. Yes. Amen. Well, if you think it happened once, it might happen twice. Amen. About a year later, or two years later, so tell it was he was back in the hospital with an unknown illness, and he called. The first person he told his wife to do call Tony. And I go. And I'm, God is bringing this back to me tonight. The teacher is here. Amen. See, when I come to visit you in the hospital, I didn't come to chat. Amen. I asked him, where's his Bible? It's right there in the bed. 
And I spread him the story of Elijah yes. and the widow. Amen. How Elijah brought her son back to life. Yes. 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 Seven times. Did you know he walked out of that hospital? Yes. Again, good report. I want you to understand something, people. That the name of Jesus, miracle signs of wonder, has never left. Yes, amen. I'm telling you that when you look at the book of Acts, you got to understand this miracle was a sign to the times. Yes. Why am I speaking about it now? It was a sign to Israel of the old order, but to now it's a sign that's going to usher in the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. Amen. I want you to understand some miracles never, ever disappeared from the earth. In the name of Jesus. Yes. Now turn back to Acts chapter 4. Hallelujah. Y'all get anything out of the word tonight? Amen. And look what he said in verse 22. For the man was more than 40 years old on whom the miracle of healing had been performed. Yes. Now, see the world, I just heard a lie. I just heard Satan and some of you who are going to listen. They just said this. Well, that's a Christian Bible. They doctor it up so it's, it'll sound good. You lost, you done lost your mind. I'm telling you, there's 66 books in this Bible. And there's too many coincidences where God just blows your mind. I want you to understand something. How in the world? This is real history that David killed Goliath. Amen. Yes, it is. And Israel ruled and reigned for 40 years yes. in peace. Yes. Amen. So what you gonna do with that? Amen? Amen. What you gonna do about the Exodus out of Egypt without an arrow, without a spear, without a chariot? Yes. What you gonna do with that? And we read the, their writing on their, on their statue that talks about those years Amen. of lean time during Joseph. So Amen. it's too much there. And Noah's Ark, come on! Yes. Amen. See, Satan, he don't like the name. Amen. But I just blew his mind. Now he left. He gone. Amen. I think no art just done him in. <laughs> Are you with me tonight? Yes. Hallelujah. I want you to understand something. But this is what I want you to see. The man was 40 years old on whom the miracle of healing had been performed. 40 is the time of testing. And when they were released, they went to their companions and reported all that the chief priests and elders had said to them. And when they heard this, when the people heard it, they lifted their voices to God. In what? One what is the church? Was it getting to one? one yes. Amen? Amen? I'm not satisfied until we become one. And said, O Lord, it is thou who didst make the heavens and the earth and the sea and all that is in them. Yes. You know what that's called? The highest praise. Yes. When the last time you gave me the highest praise? Yes. We give you the highest praise. Amen. Even when you're going through and it seems like you're not going to get to give him the highest praise. Amen. Did Amen. Miriam take the tambourine and do yes. a dance? Amen. Huh? Amen. That the horse and the rider thrown into the sea. Yes. Wow. Wow. Amen. But I want you to see something in verse 30 because when I was reading this and, and I was meditating, I'm telling you the ground under my feet was shaking. And he says, While thou dost stand thy hand, he said, Look at verse 29. And now, Lord, take note of their threats and grant thy bondservant may speak thy word with all confidence. See, that's what he said. He didn't try to change. Listen to me, people. I'm, I'm going to help you with a miracle. Don't change the doctor's report. Amen. 
Just ask God to help you be have confidence yes. in his name. Amen. 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 I mean, I mean, you know, suppose the doctor said you're gonna die. He, look, life has been telling you you're gonna die. Amen. 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 Look what he said. That, that, that I must speak thy word with all covenant. You need to have boldness yeah. and confidence when you pray. Amen? Yeah. And when you talk to God. In your prayer at your home, you need to have, you have a right to pray to talk to God. Now look at verse 30. While thou didst extend thy hands to heal and signs and wonders. This is what I want you to understand. Yeah. 2021 is miracles, signs, and wonders. Are you with me yet? Yeah. Miracle signs and wonders. Let's look at it. And when they had prayed, it was a take place through the what? The name of the Holy Servant, Jesus. These miracle signs and wonders take place at the name of Jesus. Give the Lord some prayer. Amen. At the name of search no more. Amen. It ain't in my dreadlocks. Amen. It ain't in my long robe. Yeah. It ain't in my clerical collar. Yeah. I want to tell you something. It's in the name. Amen. I was looking at people. They walk around with all these books and I'm like, you just, what you trying to find? Mm -hmm. I got peace. I found Jesus. Amen. There's no other name under heaven where I've Amen. given to me. I want you to understand. It's given to you. It's free, y'all. Amen. Whereby people can be saved. Amen. I want you to see something that there that when they had prayed, the place where they had gathered together was shaking. Yes. There's gonna be a shaking in this place. Amen. There's gonna be a shaking wherever you are tonight. Yes. There's a shaking because the truth will set you free. Amen. When the shaking comes, the shackles that change that change you will be broken. Yes. Amen. Amen. The yokes will be removed. And they were all filled with the Holy Spirit. Why don't you just begin to pray in spirit right now? No soak it out of a hot He's sick of it in bad. He might not know more. No coma chaka that in bad. No soak it out of a Ya kadana bado ne ki mana da bondo. Ye ki zaka da da basanda. Ye shake it in a batanda. You need to pray in tongues all the time. Everything I'm teaching you comes from praying in tongues. I pray the spirit more than I do talking. Let me tell you something, I pray, I, when I'm thinking, I'm thinking in tongues. I'm thinking in the spirit. I can sing with the tongues of angels and of men. Amen. 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 But I want you to see and begin to speak the word. You need to speak the word of God with boldness. Now, where did they get this from? I want you to go back to Acts chapter 3. Let's look at the miracle. Acts chapter 3. See, I had to give you some background. Amen. We got to go back. Yes. How did they get to that time? Amen? Yes. 
Well, but Peter gave us an example. He gave us the real truth for the day. In this name, in this name of your holy servant, Jesus of Christ, Yeshua Hamasiah. Your name. Miracle signs and wonder never left. I want you to understand something. If God put them there in the beginning, yes. you got to understand Jesus isn't there. Amen. Jesus is there in name Amen. only. Amen. He's in heaven. Amen. Where is Jesus at now? In name only Amen. today. Amen. Why are we afraid? afraid? You talk to folks on the phone, the devil is in them. Catch the devil out. They don't need to talk to you no more. Amen. You sitting there trying to get some juicy news. <laughs> Next thing you done invited the devil in your house. That's right. Amen. Amen. Look with me in Acts chapter 3. Are you there yet? Yes. Let's go to verse number 1. Now Peter and John was going to the temple at the ninth hour. That's 3 p.m. Yes. And the hour of prayer. Now let me tell you something. Everybody's off work at 3 Yes. You start work at six, and nine hours. You had your lunch, your snacks, and you don't even take a break. You go home at three, Amen. and so they're they're going to the temple. Yeah. Right. Listen to me. They ain't even thinking about no church. They, this are y'all ain't with me yet. Amen. They got Jesus. Amen. They got they done got saved, yeah. Yeah. and they're going over their everyday life. Yeah. And look what it said. And a man who had been lame from his mother's womb yes. was being carried along whom they used to set down every day at the gate of the temple. That's the church, y'all. You know what I'm saying? I didn't understand this. God said, my call. I got to bring you to the gate of the Lord. Bring the church back. I can't go in for you. I can only go in for myself. I want you to close your eyes and imagine this in the spirit. All these 2021 years we've been, the church has been sitting outside the temple at the gate called beautiful. And I want you to keep on reading. Look at this in verse 3. In order to beg alms of those who are entering the temple. I want you to close your eyes again and think about this. Does this sound like the church today? They're more interested in silver than gold than being healed. Amen. They sit outside the temple raising, always raising money. Raising buildings but don't get through the door. I want you to understand something. They're being carried about, but not inside the temple, but outside. Amen. Where they can beg arms. Now listen to me. How many times people come to church with their problems yes. to beg God Amen. and leave with the same problem? A shout don't cast the devil out. Amen. A dance won't cast the devil out. Amen. A joke won't cast the devil out. That's right. A testimony won't cast the devil out. Amen. The name of Jesus will. Yes, it will. He said, in my name you shall cast out yes. devils. Amen. I want you to understand something. This man was there 40 years. All his life, he saw Jesus. Jesus had walked by this man, and the apostles, disciples had walked by this man, because they went through that gate of beautiful on their way through to Bethany and other places. It was Solomon's porch, it was Solomon's temple. But he never went inside. Amen. I want you to understand something, that Jesus could have healed that man. As many times he walked by. Y'all ain't with me yet. Amen. You ain't with me yet. Yes. 
but he saved it for the church. Amen. Praise God. You didn't get it. Yes, yeah. Jesus Amen. could have healed that man. He's seen that man there many times. He's been yes. there 40 years. But he saved it. This miracle. Yes. Because this miracle is the end of a dispensation. It stood before those who were in charge of their church of their day. Yes. It still stands today. Yes. But Jesus didn't do the miracle. He found, he left it for the church. Yes, praise God. I want you to understand some that this man, he was more concerned about silver and gold yes. than walking again. Yes. See, you don't get it. See, some of y'all are more concerned about what's in your bank account. That was in your heavenly account. Amen. I said the word in you word will work for you. you. Yes. You reach into yes. God's word is like a treasure chest. Yes. Every time you reach into it, yes. you come out rich. Yes. But you're more concerned about your earthly condition yes. than your heavenly condition. You're more concerned yes. about your immediate and, then, and, and what you need than the eternal glory of God in your life. Amen. You didn't get it. Yes. Jesus has walked through that gate. That man was set there. They, they, they say that he probably been there 30 years. That's the age of Jesus. Since he was about 8, 10 years old. That's how they supported themselves. He sat there. He heard about Jesus. Listen to me, y'all. The church today know about Jesus. Yes. Did blind bar may hear about Jesus? Yes, this man can hear about Jesus. Amen. Won't nothing wrong with his ears. Right. Won't nothing wrong with his eyes. Amen. Blind bar may said, What's this commotion? He was begging. He stopped begging. Amen. He started calling out, Jesus! Amen. He called on the name. Yes. Have mercy on me. Yes. Amen. Did Zacchaeus hear about him? Yes. He said, I've heard about him. I want to see who this man is. See, though, this man, yes. this lame man, Amen. heard about Jesus. Yes. But he never called on his name. That's right. You, you didn't get that. Makanda is sickle of the Matan. I don't care what size your church is. I don't care how many members you got. I don't care what color they are. I'd rather be in a place. Amen. We worship Jesus. Amen. The name. Amen. I'm not, somebody said his name ain't really Jesus, it's Yeshua. It doesn't matter if I call on the Father. Amen. If I call on the Son. Amen. If I call on the Holy Ghost. Right. It's all the name of Jesus. Amen. See, we get broken down and all this stuff. And listen to me, if you don't know his name either. Somebody told you that. Amen. I don't have to tell you what somebody told me. I have what I heard and seen Amen. and know. Amen. The same as Peter did. No kunda del basame. I want you to see something that he said. Look at it again. And whom they used to set, he says, was being carried along. See, you. some of y'all get carried to church. Yeah. Huh? Your problems carry you. Amen. Your worries carry you. Huh? Some of y'all come on special meetings Amen. at special times. And some of y'all just carry. Amen? Amen. And it was it. Whom they used to sit down. Are y'all ready for this? Every day. At the gate. Of the temple, which is called beautiful. In order to beg arms of those who are entering. In. Here's how they say it. Those of you that know the Lord and the word of prayer, pray for me and I. Amen. You beg. Amen. You want somebody else to pray for you. That's right. When you Amen. have the name of Jesus. Amen. Say his name. Jesus. Say his name. Jesus. Jesus. Amen. Wherever you are, say his name. Jesus. Yes, you are. I'm going to say it. I want you to know something today. And when Peter in verse 3 saw and John, uh, when he saw Peter and John about to go into the temple, 
he began asking to what? He didn't ask to be healed. He didn't ask to be saved. He asked for what he'd been asking for every day. And the church today, we can't even preach the word out of my broadcast. I got to raise money. I know it costs, but let, let me tell you something. I never ask for money. That's right. I give you the word. That's right. For you to receive, for you to give. I want you to see this man, this church, this vain church that we're in today. They all they know how to do is beg. That's right. Are you listening to me today? Yes. I mean, here these men just been filled with the Holy Ghost who once walked with Christ. So that tells me that even when Jesus walked through the gates, he didn't ask for healing. That's right. Because he was sat there to beg. See, this, this won't get you invited to most people's church. Amen. Now look what it said in verse number. Now we have accepted this stuff. I never went to a church for who's the goes there. Amen. I went to church to find the word. Amen. I didn't go to church to find a friend. That's right. I didn't go to church to find favor. Most churches I went to, I set my butt down and get the word and go out. I go home. Are y'all with me yet? I didn't get into no clicks. I didn't get into no conversation. I didn't get into no gossip. I didn't get into anything. I went there to grow in the grace and the knowledge of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. I think it paid off, y'all. Amen. Are y'all listening to me today? Yes. I think it's paying off. Amen. What peace I have. What joy I have. Hallelujah. What power is in his name. Yes. Because look what has happened. He said in verse 4, And Peter along with John, this their gaze upon him and said, What did he say? Look at us. Look at us. Look on us. Look at us. Now you got to understand something. Did you know this man had been getting people's money never look at him? Yeah. You ever watch a beggar and, and, and yeah. they don't never look at you in the eyes? That's right. They just grab that money out, the, out of that car window and, and gone. But Peter said, look at us. And he began to give them his attention. Expecting to what? Again, to get something from them. See, the church, we can have a praise service. We can have the special guests fly in from half, of, half of, uh, around the world. Amen. But really, we want to get to the money. Yeah. Now they got things called honor I never got one of those. <laughs> Amen. Because it's honor we're worthy. Amen. I'm not coming as you give me. It used to be ten thousand. Yeah. That's about thirty Amen. or fifty. Now we've had preachers fight over that because they invited them, but they didn't invite them back. Listen to me, people. How many more? How much more this junk do we have to do? God called me off an evangelistic field. Because people didn't respect their anointing. Yeah. I had to help. I, I'm being honest, I'm protecting you. I've been in places where miracle signs and wonders happening, and they steal the offering. And I'm sitting in my car, and God's, and I'm, I'm feeling down the anointing. He said, they robbed you. What a shame. This man been crippled since his mother womb. Yes. Yeah. Then he done accepted his immobilization. Yes. He done accepted that he's never going to be healed. Yes. He's never thought of working. Amen. He's never thought of being healed. Amen. He never thought of advancing God's kingdom. He never thought of it. Even when they say, look on us, he got their attention hoping to get something. How many of you come to church to get something? But the moment you don't get it, you accept where you are.
I'm not intimidated because there's a triple-decker, four-story church over here. Amen. But we hold our signs on Good Friday. Yes. Cold as it was, Pastor Thomas stayed out there. Because I want people to know there's a church that will pray. Amen. People blow the horn. People speed up. People sometimes park and say, what, what, what's that? But they won't come to pray. And when I found most churches not even open on Good Friday, Amen. which is the holiest of holidays. Yes. They're waiting for Easter Sunday. But Good Friday would there be no resurrection if there was no crucifixion. People of my songs. People of my griefs. Are y'all with me yet? Yeah. But Peter said, I do not possess silver and gold. Now, listen to me. Jesus already taught the apostles, don't take a money, don't take a change of clothes, don't take a purse. That's right. Money belt. I'm talking about here you guys was living by faith. Yes. You want to see living by faith? Look around. Amen. 27 years let your bill been paid. Amen. 27 years the cleaning products have been made available. 27 years we sang songs to sing. 27 years, huh? Amen. Silver and gold have enough. But look what he said. But what I do have. I give to you. Oh, can not interject you, but my mama can bang. Oh, what other bang? I told you this name. Peter said was given to all mankind. This name is freely given to all humankind, and by this name, no one can be saved or healed. I want you to understand something that Jesus, that he, we looked at him in him in trial. Yes. Now we're going to see why they were persecuted. See, you look in your cabinets and you don't have your favorite chips or your favorite soda and, ain't, and you ain't got your favorite meat, I ain't got nothing to eat. Peter said in verse 5 in the name of Jesus the Nazarene y'all ready for this? Yeah. this is miracle number one he didn't say stumble he said what the man needed Amen. listen to me he said what the man needed even though the man didn't ask for it I went to pray for the man for healing, but I led it to the Lord and I gave him what he needed, even though he wasn't seeking that. It, he's in heaven. Amen. Y'all ain't got me. Yeah, yeah. Amen. And he was standing up. And the Lord said, There's no sickness in him. Amen. You see, what time when you pray, you're praying, you're, you're looking for what you you looking for, but God knows what you need. Yeah. He he didn't want no he walk. For 40 years. Amen. He still, he had three chances asked to be healed, but he said, they're going to give me something. Yeah. And Peter gave him what he needed. Amen. He said, walk. Amen. When you speak the name of Jesus, you've got to be specific. Yeah. Amen. Listen to me. I just, I'm listening to the enemy. You, don't, you can go down and play the lottery in the name of Jesus you want to. That's cracked up foolishness. Amen. But yeah. people do it. God ain't with me yet. Amen. And the church is praying in the name of Jesus that you hit. <laughs> so you can give a large offer. 
But that's a crippled church. Amen. That's a lame church. Yes. That's a church around that's probably got more drug addiction, more murders around it than any other place. But I'm talking about a church that's, that can use the name of Jesus. Amen. I want you to see something here. What do you say? And he began. Where we at in time, bro? 58 minutes. Come, oh, man, come on. And he began to give them his attention, expecting to receive something from them. 